Hey YouTube, it's W from Unicat Media. I have another video for you. This is going to be part three of our series on how to burn DVDs, Blu-rays. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to break up episodes for TV shows. I tell you, that's one thing I never showed you. And um, there's a couple extra steps, but uh, I think it's uh, it's worthwhile. So uh, let's get started. Okay, team. So there's a few different softwares we're going to use. Make MKV like we normally do. That's going to be over here. We're going to use a new tool, MKV Tools Nix, which is over here. Then we're going to use uh, something called Foulbot, and that's pretty cool. I'll share with you what that is. And then uh, there's a media player that I would suggest you guys get, Media Player Classic. And uh, that's so you can see the uh, chapters. Again, um, pretty much everything here is free except for the Filebot uh, program. It's about $6 for a year license, uh, but it's worth every dime and wait till you see what it does. Okay, so first we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the DVD in. This time around we're gonna look at Young Sheldon and uh, this is gonna read it. And then from here, we'll go ahead and we'll make our MKV file. Now, once you go ahead and you click on this, it's going to take a few minutes for it to, uh, to read the overall DVD. And then after that, we're going to pick our chapters and um, make our MKV file. Okay, so we got, what, 10 seconds left and we'll be all finished. So I'll give that a minute. All right, file complete, one saved. You can see up at the top, it was called title T00. Okay, so now we're gonna take that and we're gonna drop this into the MKV Toll Nix file. It's very, very quick. It's gonna break out your video, your audio, your subtitles, all of your chapters. Really isn't anything you have to do there except you need to go to the output, change the split mode to after specific timestamps. And then from here, this is where you're gonna use the Media Player Classic, and you need to load the file that you just created. And you're gonna go through here, and you're going to identify the chapters. Now at the bottom, you could see where I just scrolled here, um, where there's the end of one, one, one video. And so we're gonna identify, based on the timestamp, what that is. Right there at the beginning of chapter seven will be the beginning of the next one. And we're gonna write that down and we're gonna do that for all 11 of these chapters. So we'll do the next one. All right, 1830, oh, and it has to be in this format, hours, minutes, and seconds. So 001834. We'll grab the next one. So normally what I'll do is I'll go through the whole video and I have to write them down. And you can go over to the timestamps and you can type them in as you go, but I found that this is just a lot more efficient. So I'm gonna go grab the rest of these and then we'll plug them into the system. Okay, so we got the last one. So we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll stop this file from running. Just close that, put that over to the side. And then we're gonna go into the timestamps and we're gonna plug these in. Be very careful that you don't uh, put periods or semicolons or what, just make sure you, you do exactly how I put this in the format. Uh, you can see that I made a mistake already, 38, but it's, I'm gonna let it go here so you could see when you click on the multiplex button not at the bottom, it's gonna give us an error. And we're gonna have to fix that. And then once we fix it and we let it all run, then uh, it won't have a problem. All right, so we got two errors on the screen. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fix this real quick. One little error 
causes the whole thing to mess up. Check all the other ones. No, they all look good. Click multiplex. And you can see it's starting to run down here at the bottom. And if you look up at the top, it'll start plugging these in. Episode one, episode two, episode three. And it'll complete this. It doesn't take that long, maybe a minute or so. And uh, all the chapters will be broken out. Now this doesn't doesn't do any encoding, which is why it doesn't take that long. All it's doing is running through the file and then cutting the breaks. One more to go, and we'll have 11 episodes. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna bring these over and we're gonna put them in. Now, the one thing that I did already, and you gotta have them in order, one, two, three, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna change these. All right, so you can see we'll count this down through 10 episodes. You click on rename and watch this. All of the files automatically go. Pretty cool. Love this. Again, it was only $6. I'll leave a link to it in the description. But uh, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. Okay, and that's it. That's the end of the uh, video capture that I did there. And then once you have these, then you can just go ahead and you can, uh, you know, grab them all and paste them over into the file where you have your Plex server or on your hard drive or what have you, and you'll have Sheldon episode 12 through 21. If you have any questions about what we did here, feel free to uh, send me a message, and I'll be more than happy to, to help you out. That's it. So thanks again, and as always, stay safe and be healthy.